Good morning. Welcome back to Daybreak. It's uh, the 29th of uh, October 2019. It is, essentially, it is the last Tuesday of the month. And it's now 25 minutes to 7 o'clock. Of course, we uh, get back to you. This is Debrek. My name is Sam Gituku. And my name is Enzi Kibiku. Earlier on, we began the show by making sure we touch base with Nyeri, Mombasa, Gilgil here in Nairobi and different places just to show you how the distribution of the KCP examination material is underway. Right now, let's take you to Mombasa where the CS of Education, Professor George Makoha, is speaking. Is there any particular question you guys have where I can leave it it is dynamic and I can't give you a figure but uh, for, for, for your region here uh, you have just re uh, relocated five years ago it's very dynamic because also rain is dynamic uh, there are a handful of schools but the important thing is that the government is at hand where there is a requirement of boarding the students like for for this region you, you even made sure there was uh, food and the children as they are boarding they'll be provided with, with food as they do the exams so that should not worry any any person at all and Maybe what is your message to the parents these children are my my message to our good parents is that please stop please 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 in the name of god let your children do the exam in peace please allow your children to do the exam in peace you don't have much apart from encouraging them don't let nobody tell you that oh there are certain experts who are going to do the exam you should pay an amount of money so that your exam your child should pass just pray for your child and encourage the child i think that's all and i, I, I want to say that this year around we have not picked many fake papers like in the past, which means the parents have learned that uh, whenever they are selling the papers, they are actually fake papers. Last year we had cases of teenage pregnancy, and of course maybe this year we will uh, present cases of how just been That is a big white elephant in the room, because it, it relates to culture in, in this region. We have teenage pregnancies that are an issue. We are dealing with them through the provincial administration because we really have to softly uh, get the parents of the region to come along with us. Are we together? We, where they are, like in some areas now, we have already admitted certain, I will not tell you where, because I don't want to stigmatize any region, but there are, there are girls who have already been admitted and we have also ambulances on standby, should there be need for them. But I think this is where we fail because uh, if parents start uh, uh, looking after their children as they grow up, then they are able to, to have self-control and they are able to take the stress. So we shall still deal with the cases of pregnancy, but it should not be an issue because we shall take the exam to them and ensure that they have the same conditions as, as the others. The, the, the? <laughs> they are hot spots and the epic center is in Migori. Are we together? Going by last year. And some people will be very annoyed that I'm saying this again, but I will say it because that's that's my job. The epic center is in Migori as we have been watching. Migori coming down to Kisi and Homo Bay. Then when we go, and uh, this is where I will still say it again, going by last year's exams, we also have problems in Garissa, in Mandera, and Wajia. Irrespective of what other people are saying, I want to urge the parents to allow their children to do the exams in peace. For the rest of the country, we are very happy to say that we have not seen anything to worry about. But I can assure you that in those areas, we are not going to scare the children, but if you try, we shall catch you. Uh, as the one in the center of this exercise, are you sorry? All right, that's the Cabinet Secretary in Charge of Education, Professor George Magoha. He's speaking from Mombasa County. I uh, shortly will be delving into news review with the panel that we have in studio. But before we do that, let's take you to Nyeri County, where the ICT Cabinet Secretary, Joe Mushero, is witnessing the start of the KCP. I don't know whether he is speaking or what he is doing there. Let's just listen to what he has to say. Uh, and the security uh, is going on well, and especially in Nyeri County, we haven't seen any or heard of any malpractice. 
and we don't expect any. As you've seen, the eagerness of all the people to ensure that our kids have the right uh, exam environment so that they can be able to do their best. Uh, we're expecting that with 100% transition, there's really not much uh, for people to fight about. So it's a lot easier and everybody knows they are assured of uh, a position after these exams. So just do your best and we wish all our kids the, the best in the exams. Thank you. Thank you.